Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video we are going to be discussing a major side character that actually made a return within season 14, The Island. Now of course, as of the time of recording this video, the English version of The Island is not yet available, so I have not watched the episodes. I am well aware that there are versions online that do have English subtitles, and in terms of what I've been doing, I've kind of been checking out the French version without subtitles. I don't want to know a whole lot about the plot before I actually watch it in English. Some of you guys have already caught me up with that. And as I mentioned in today's video, we're going to be discussing major spoilers regarding season 14. So if you guys have not yet seen the island or you want to wait until the English release to watch it, I recommend clicking off this video now and checking out a different video because we're going to be discussing a major side character that made an unexpected appearance within season 14. And that character, of course, is Ronin. Now, Ronin himself, we hadn't really seen for a very, very long time. I think the last time he had a major role, at least in Ninjago, was in season 9. I know he had a little cameo appearance at the end of March of the Oni, and afterwards he's kind of been featured in other ways besides a physical appearance, but we have not seen Ronin for a very long time in the series, and the fact that he's returning in the island is kind of a big deal, because again, this character we have not seen for a very long time. Now you guys know, if you guys have checked out some of my episode reviews, you would know that I'm not the biggest fan of Ronin. I think he does some things and makes some choices that aren't super great and are kind of, you know, weird and, I don't know, kind of like bottom of the barrel, low level stuff, but then again, that's kind of what Ronin's character is. In season 14, his role appears to be uh, assisting some type of robbery. Now, like I said, I have not watched season 14 in its entirety because I have the entire version in French on my computer and I can't understand it. Even with English subtitles, I don't feel like I'd be getting the full experience. So I'm going to be waiting until an English release to kind of check up on the actual context surrounding his character returning in this season. But the fact that he's returning in general is a pretty big deal. Again, we have not seen Ronan for a very long time and I think his appearance is a surprise to say the least. I'm kind of disappointed. I've seen a lot of people kind of spoil this reveal on Online on Instagram and YouTube, whether it be in thumbnails or just posts or whatever. And I think that's, you know, it's exciting. It's exciting that Ronin's back, but at the same time, that would have been a reveal that would have been, you know, better to see in the season itself. Of course, in terms of spoilers for myself, I'm not super keen on spoilers. I'm not super uptight about them. I just know that some people are. Some people don't like spoilers, and I guess I would have preferred the community keep this under wraps. I think Ronin's character returning in season 14 is a really big deal, and I've tried the best I can to keep this video spoiler free. So, uh, just kind of minor disappointment in terms of, I guess, community reception towards Ronin's return. I think for a lot of people it's very exciting, though. Again, in the context, he does seem to be involved in some type of heist or robbery. So, going back to his old ways, it seems, but uh, that's pretty much what Ronin's character character is all about. So either way, I'm really excited to see uh, season 14 in English this weekend. I'm looking forward to it, and I can't wait to see what Ronan does in this season. I can't wait to see how big of a role he has or what exactly his role specifically is. I'm just glad he's back. It's cool to see him back again after being absent for so long, and part of me just wishes that some other community members would have kept that more under wraps. So just my own personal thoughts on that. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. How do you feel about Ronan's return in season 15? And let me know down below in the comments if context was correct. What exactly did Ronan do in season 14? Did he have a big role? Did he not? Leave all your thoughts down below, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Hannah Fishes, and with that, I bid you farewell.